today I want to take you boldly into a new adventure. The new adventure is your website. Okay, you're going to boldly go where few small businesses went with your website. Now, most small businesses, they have a website because they think, you know, you pretty much think you have to have a website. And you do today. You need to have a website if you're in business. If you're in business and don't have a website, it means you're not in business in the eyes of the consumer. You're not, not legit. You've got a website. Now, the next question is, shouldn't it be producing money for you? Shouldn't it be producing leads? Shouldn't it be producing income? Well, Google says that 98% of the traffic to your average website leaves without ever taking any further action. They fill a form, they don't download the free newsletter or the white paper. They don't download those things because they know if they put in their email address, they're gonna end up on a spam email list. So with all those things working against you today, how do you get your website to produce? Well, one of it is, is the actual design of your website. Now, a lot of web developers today, beautiful, gorgeous looking websites, but they're missing a few key elements that make the difference between having just a beautiful wallflower basically is your website it's not producing any business right it needs to earn its keep it needs to produce something for your company and a website that's actually producing leads and generating income and sales for your company is a design fact rule number one you cannot have your phone number on your website too many times right the more times the more opportunities you have to sell a product or service. And let's face it, we're in business and we only make money, you only make money if you have a live one-on-one -on -one conversation with an interested prospect, right? Right. So make it easy for them to call you. People want that want information. These are your hottest prospects. They call, they want information and make their phone number all over. The, the more the better. The second tip that you can put is use pop-ups. Pop-ups are basically a mobile call to actions. They pop up and they invite the customer to do something. Call now, if you're like a financial services company, you know, schedule a consultation, whatever it is, utilize pop-up. Third thing is, you know, make sure you have call to actions on the website. And if there's some way that you can offer incentives to get them to call, you know, that works better. So it's a marketing machine. It's a marketing world. You've got traffic, some traffic to your website. You need to make your website where it actually generates more leads and money coming in for you. The fourth thing is you utilize a service called Visitor Match and Mail. And basically what that does is we put a code on your website and if anybody that goes to your website, two days later, they get a postcard from you in the mail with some kind of special offer. It's a great inexpensive way for you to actually convert. Those are some basic things that you can do to improve your website. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to call our office and we're here to help you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tell a buddy and share it with a friend.